Well, hello. Um, I just want to let you know straight up that I'm part of the green blob that some of the polit politics uh, politicians have uh, labelled us. Um, and I could stand here and talk to you about sustainability in the broadest terms, the three-legged stool of trying to join up and find positive solutions for economic, social, environmental benefit. But actually, no, today I'm just going to stick with the fact that I'm totally biased. I am coming from the environmental sector. And actually, why do we have to always talk about things in economic terms? So I'm going to talk to you about the intrinsic value of wildlife. And uh, I want you to just think for a few moments. Lynn did a perfect lead-in to this, and I almost thought she was going to totally steal my presentation before she stopped at a crucial moment. So just, I want you to just think more about the cultural side of the things that Lynn was talking about and think, when was the last time that you had an amazing experience in nature? Now, nature for you might be your garden, it might be walking down the street, there's a fantastic tree, we just talked about those. It might be there's a park nearby you, it might be you heard a blackbird sing, it might be that you had an amazing experience out in Padley Gorge or the Peak District, or maybe you went to Wyoming Brook or one of our nature reserves. But just think for a moment about how did that make you feel? Just for a few seconds. How good did that make you feel? So it may be for you that nature doesn't mean a great deal, but I know for me, if I sit and think about that for a few moments, it really makes me think that wildlife is amazing. And in fact, Sheffield's wildlife is amazing. We may be living in a very urban area, but still, nevertheless, nature prevails. And uh, despite what we try and do to it, it still tries to carry on regardless. So, we have the everyday. The everyday thing that sometimes go, oh, it's a blue tip. We have uh, local people in sheltered accommodation who are amazed at still seeing a blue tip going into an S box uh, and how beautiful they are. We have the more European important sites of Blackamoor and other nature reserves that triple SI, nationally important European important sites, really special on a global scale. We have places like Brenham Woods, which is uh, to the north of Sheffield, uh, fantastic big scale woodland and part of a much bigger scale of South Yorkshire woodlands, really important. Up to the little detail of looking at an individual beautiful oak leaf through the sunlight. To the jewel of seeing the flash of a woodpecker. I undenied about a kingfisher, but I thought that was a bit kind of classic. So I thought, no, let's go for the woodpecker. But fantastic uh, kingfisher seen at crab tree ponds up towards the hospital, very urban environment. To the detail, tiny. Um, things that maybe you don't really look at, but when you do look at them really closely, they're just absolutely amazing. The brown cup fungi. And I love these, hairy wood ants. Who wouldn't want a hairy wood ant? <laughs> hairy wood ants can spout formic acid 12 times the length of their body, and it stings. <laughs> you can find these in Grano Woods, absolutely amazing. And a slightly rarer pied flycatcher disappearing. It's only a couple of pairs, not really breeding in our area, but still really beautiful. So, yes, I am going to talk about all those amazing things and the little butts, the negative bit. Because, yes, we've lost a lot of our good grassland. We've lost and got very fragmented heathland habitat. Uh, we, but we do have over 250 local wildlife sites, which are really amazing. But many of those are in private ownership. They also have quite limited protection in planning terms. And uh, there are signs of ongoing decline. And some people talk about the fact that you kind of don't know what you lost because you don't know what it was like 20 years ago or 40 years ago. You just accept that this is the now. So in 20 years time, when our cookies have disappeared and no one hears the cuckoo in spring. No one will ne necessarily know what they've lost, but they are in decline. 
And if you want to find out more about some of the species that are doing well and some that are going in decline, then there's a brilliant rec report called the State of Nature Report, and I'd really urge you to look at that if you are interested in this sort of thing. And Secret Spaces, which is about local wildlife sites. So we need to, I believe, we do need to manage and look after land. You can look at how you manage uh, current habitats and you can improve them for wildlife and you can turn back some of the damage that we as humans have done. Uh, this is a new site that we created. We took, um, uh, we took uh, seed from one of our nature reserves, took it to another. Um, we didn't manage to get uh, this beautiful orchid on the, on the the new site but we've managed to get an yellow rat and a lot of other hay meadow on the site in a very urban environment as well so we can put some uh, restoration back and restore nature i also firmly believe we need to help people connect more with nature um, and uh, this is a great picture of some kids just having fun in the woods it's really not hard to get people engaged with nature and there's a great quote from this little girl who said i had a great time playing with sticks. <laughs> it's not difficult, is it? So we need to do more of that. And I think we actually, you know, you're in this room, you're clearly interested in this subject, be it the Broad Green Commission subject, be it right down to um, hairy ants, hairy wood ants, whatever it is, you do need to stand up for nature. You need to stand up and, and talk about nature, share your love for nature if you have that, or, or you're interested in Green Commission subjects talk about wildlife and you know what will you do we have smithy wood for example on our doorstep which is a, a local wildlife site currently under threat of having a motorway service station built on it with an 80 bed hotel and some retail stand up wildlife and stand up for smithy wood thank you